Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today I will show you how to navigate between different screens in Jetpack Compose but uh, with arguments. I mean you can take data from one screen and display it in another screen and I will show you how to do it just like this. Here I have the first screen which is the home screen. I have two text fields. I can here write a screen type data like test and integer type data as age and by pressing this button uh, the data will uh, transfer to the details screen and will be shown here in the uh, two texts uh, let's check it First of all, here in the build.gradle, uh, I have uh, this dependency for the navigation. And remember, after adding it, if the target SDK is 33, change it to 34. And the compile SDK as well, from 33 to 34. Then sync it. Here I have two screens. In the first screen, I have uh, actually I have created two uh, files here, uh, the home screen and the detailed screen. In the first one, in the home screen, uh, I have created a composable function. I have a column. Inside it, I have a text, just like here, a text, then a spacer, then the first text field, then the second text field and uh, at the end i have the button here you can see it and uh, here for the unclick of this button for now i don't have any logic and here i have two uh, variables name value and age value and the value of the first text field will go to this name value and the value of the second text field will go to this age value and in the details screen i have just three texts first one to show we are in the details screen and uh, the second one to display the name and the third one to display the age and uh, now let's add another cut lane file and name it nav graph Here, I need another composable function. And I'm going to name it nav. Let's close this, go to the main activity and call nav here. that's everything for the main activity and we don't need anything extra let's go to the nav graph uh, here first uh, we have to write some code uh, to navigate between these two screens uh, for this i need a value i am going to call it nav controller equals to Remember nav controller. Then I need a nav host. And the second one, which has the start destination, I'm going to choose this one. We don't need this builder. And here, opening the bracket, this nav controller will be called here. And here. I need a keyword, I'm going to write home. That's it. Here I need a composable with a small C in the beginning, not just like this. And duplicate it. 
here I'm going to pass uh, the root equals to his home so from this we will be uh, redirected to this composable and inside it I'm going to write home screen and here uh, will be the root equals to details and details screen here in the details screen I have passed uh, these two variables so here we have them okay uh, in the home screen uh, we have to pass the snap controller because we need it there and I'm going to add it to the arguments of this uh, home screen here we have it okay first of all we need to uh, take the data from the user and pass it to the graph and then from the graph we have to pass it to the details screen and display it there uh, in the details screen we have everything done so the data already is passed here through these variables and is set on the text so we don't need to do anything else inside the details screen let's start from the home screen by button click we want to use the nav controller dot navigate and then here we have to pass the root the root will be details uh, till here we had uh, everything in the last video and if i'm running the application now by pressing this button we can go from this first screen to the second screen but without any data if i want to pass the data i have to write here a slash then i have to uh, write uh, which kind of data i'm going to pass where is the data so here i'm going to write dollar sign then name value for now let's just uh, pass this or maybe let's pass the second one as well another slash and a dollar sign and age value so we took the data and uh, we passed it through the root to the graph and let's go to the graph here and uh, here we have to pass it after uh, these details as well the same I'm going to open a bracket and writing a keyword for this and the keyword uh, can be name closing the bracket another slash and the same for the age okay then uh, the next thing that we have here let me pass them to the next line I'm writing a comma and then arguments list of and then here we have to uh, declare that uh, what is the type of the data that we are passing uh, so nav uh, argument and here I need a bracket as well here as the name I'm going to pass this keyword and then here the type equals to uh, nav type a string type and that's it for this uh, first value and then inside this uh, list we need to duplicate this part of code 
writing a comma here have argument the name should be age just like this and uh, the type is integer okay i think everything is okay so the next thing is to uh, take the data from the root and pass it into the screen the second screen so here uh, i can use the eat as the variable the return of this function uh, but i'm going to rename it to backstack entry this is the default name that the android developers website uh, is using so here backstack entry dot arguments then uh, question mark dot get a string and i'm going to pass the keyboard the same for the age like it's like entry dot arguments question mark dot get integer then age let's check it on the emulator okay here we are in the home screen i'm passing a random data and pressing the pass data and here i have it your name is mkr and your age is one two three okay uh, now let me show you another thing i'm going to pass something here as the data for the name the same the test and i'm not going to pass anything for the age pressing the pass data and the app crashes. here uh, i have to tell you that uh, we have two types of data that we are passing between the screens first one is the required data and the second type is the optional data this one was the required data and we have to provide a type of data uh, here in the application but uh, if uh, you want to give this option to the user uh, that uh, the user can leave some of the fields empty you have to uh, use uh, optional type of passing data let me show you how to do this in the details screen everything will remain unchanged in the graph and in the home screen uh, we have to do some changes let's start from the home screen here uh, in the in this line we have to change uh, some of the parts i'm going to duplicate this and comment this part uh, later if you go to my github page to the code you can see the differences here i'm going to delete uh, this uh, this slash then question mark and then i'm going to write name equals to uh, name value deleting this slash and writing and and later age equals to age value the same in the nav graph here we had the same almost and here also we have to change it question mark then uh, name equals and here we have them okay the next thing that uh, we should uh, add here after the string type I'm going to maybe write a default value for it and uh, the default value can be a string type either empty or 
maybe user so if i write it like that uh, then we don't pass anything for the name in the destination screen uh, the user will be displayed and i can copy this for this and instead of the user i can pass zero there is another way as well instead of this uh, default uh, value i can write new label equals to true and uh, that's it let's check it again okay here i have everything and without entering any data i'm going to pass data and you can see here your age is zero because we had this uh, default value here but we didn't pass anything for the uh, name and it's new level so it's empty and i can pass random number for the age and it will be displayed here but for the name nothing and it can be reverse subscribe please and i'm going to skip passing uh, anything for the age pressing pass data here we have the subscribe and here we have zero and that was everything for this video in the next videos i'm going to show you how to use nested navigation uh, we can have uh, like parent uh, screens and from each parent screen we can go to uh, branches sub branch screens and i'm going to show you how to manage them so if you want to see those videos please hit the subscribe button and the bell button right now to be aware about those videos if you like this video please give me a thumbs up to give me energy and also to help this video be watched by more people if you have any suggestion any question write them down for me and i will be so happy to read and answer them thank you for your time have a good day bye bye